Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Uh, what do I have here? I went exploring. I was trying to find a crow foot that I seem to have lost in the process. I have a switch to remove, and it requires the crow foot that I can't seem to lay my hands on. So I thought maybe it bounced up under the seat. So I went up under the seat, and look what I found. Two, I think they're four-inch speakers. Maybe five inch speakers. I have to measure them and see. But those come to me free. Uh, they were just sitting in the back. And uh, I already have two six by nines. I'm going to replace this thing. This is a mess. I got something that actually will uh, work. Sitting back here. Kind of ready to go. Uh, excuse the, the quality, but this is what I also found, uh, all kinds of bits and pieces of trash, and uh, look at that, a little rat's nest, mice nest or something, been living under the, the truck set for six, six years, and I started cleaning it out, and this is what I find. Little ma mice poops uh, matches the mice stuff I found under the hood. They were just having a great old time. It's a pretty good sized piece of rat's nest, mouse nest, whatever it is. Let me show you something else. Uh, join me at the front of the truck. Let me show you something. You can't hardly see it, but I sure did when I started cleaning up this uh, the switch. You can see the uh, mice bites. They're using that like chewy, chewing gum. And uh, this is probably part two of the tutorial on the switch. Um, I got the hoses run. You can see how that one comes. I tied that one in. I uh, cut a slit in the uh, 5 16 And then uh, ran that in and secured it with urethane. That stuff's pretty, pretty airproof. And I've got one for my uh, MV4 Turbo Hydromatic 350 overdrive clutch. So I need to, be, to get that operational. And the good folks at Monster Transmission supplied me with It goes down to the. You can't hardly see it, but it's cooked up now. Investment in fuel economy, I think that's not a bad thing. So I found out that's a that's a manifold switch. You got to have a manifold source, a vacuum for it. So I've got something over here. And again, it it takes a smaller hose than. Uh, what the switch port carries up here. So I had to uh, cut it down. And this this one here connects to, connects over here to my carbon canister. It's the purge the purge actuator. So, under high series of manifold vacuum, it's going to purge the, the canister uh, under uh, I think the EGR, I'm going to pipe it in too, but a little bit at a time, I want to make sure that I've, I've got a torque converter clutch that's operational before I do any other under uh, changes to the vacuum lines that I've now got hooked up. So thanks for tuning in. We're making progress. And uh, I'll let you know with the next video. Thanks.